No, hold on. This is Five Minutes Funnier. Welcome to 5 Minutes Funnier, the comedy how-to. I'm your host, Jimmy England, and this week I am wearing a clean shirt. I honestly don't know what happened the last time. I did the whole episode with a shirt that had a big white, I think it was paint actually, on the, on the shoulder there. And I'm looking at a very small monitor when I'm recording these things. And when I'm doing the editing, I'm looking at a film strip and it doesn't really show that kind of fine detail. And it wasn't until I was done and I played it at full size that I realized that like an idiot, I was wearing a dirty shirt. And I didn't go back and re-record it because it had taken me a long time to get that one recording where I finally said what I wanted to say to you. So I said, nuts to that. These are my comedian friends. They'll accept me that way. So thank you for doing that. This week, I want to talk about a concept that's been around for 100 years, and that is the concept of the saver. That's a joke that you can spring when a joke doesn't work, so you still get the laugh. You don't just go, oh, that joke doesn't work, guess I'll move on somewhere else. You acknowledge the joke didn't work, and you say something that'll get a laugh as a result. Now, the irony to this is, it'll be the easiest laugh you will ever get in your life, because the audience is just predisposed to love you for it. Because an audience loves that you're not just a joke machine, that when you get on stage, you're just as human as they are, and you make mistakes. And if you make a joke that acknowledges the fact that you made a mistake, they're going to love you even more. The crazy thing is, the joke doesn't have to be very good. That said, don't be, make it a crutch where you go, oh, well, I can just say anything and get the laugh and move on. The best thing to do is prepare savers in advance. Now, the trick to it is don't prepare things that are subject-specific. So if you're talking about your neighbors, you don't want to say a joke that somehow is related to being with your neighbors or whatever you're talking about. You want to have something that's more global, something that's more generic. That's the best thing to use. Then it doesn't matter what happens. Where you are in your act, you can use the line. They're actually very easy to write. I'm a very slow writer, but savers I can write very quickly. And then what I have done in the past is I find five or six of them. Those are the five or six I'm going to keep in my... Uh, in my kit so that when something goes wrong, I can pull one of them out. Now that doesn't mean I always do that. Sometimes there's something in the situation that I can call up spontaneously that will work for me. Take a look at this. But I am getting old. I am definitely getting older now. Everything's taking longer to do. Get dressed, go to the bathroom, remember where I live. <laughs> well, I didn't get a laugh at that point. But then spontaneously on stage, I came up with, I can't help but think that joke would be a lot funnier if you all weren't looking at me going, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> By all means, if you've got a joke in the moment, use it. But it's great if you've got in your quiver several savers for when things go south on you. Now, here's the great thing about savers, both spontaneous ones that happen on stage and those that you are prepared for. And that is, they can become part of your act. In this particular instance, I now keep that weak joke that got no laugh just so I can use the saver and get the big laugh. It's like a nice bonus that I didn't plan on. So that's about it for this week on 5 Minutes Funnier. Um, as always, please subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. I think I periodically call it a podcast, but it's the YouTube channel. Anything you can do sharing us or giving me that like, that'll be really much appreciated. In the meantime, I'm Jimmy England. Stay funny, everybody.